Throw out some watermelon rinds and a bunch of nectar-eating insects may show up for a drink. If it ferments over time, so much the better. Bugs with a taste for sweet juice are attracted to the malty scent of alcohol and they often get drunk on the buzzy syrup. Knowing this, you can make things even better, attracting nocturnal insects not usually seen. You can set up your own bar for bugs. Mix half a cup of stale beer, a few cups of white sugar, several tablespoons of molasses and a mashed up banana and then allow the mixture to brew for about a day. The goo should be about the consistency of thick syrup. Then paint this on some tree trunks near sundown and you'll soon be ready for a different kind of outdoors adventure. A shindig for party goers of the six-legged kind. And the fun often lasts all night. After dark, summer night flying moths and beetles smell the concoction and come to feed. Certain flyers, some of them quite colorful, are seldom seen except for using this trick. Not all insects respond, but it's a great way to collect and observe the ones that do. And sometimes the gooey bait keeps things hopping for a week or so, attracting showy insects both day and night. If you'd like, keep the bait site going by smearing on more solution when things slow down. Sometimes you'll be rewarded by exotics like eyed click beetles and the big underwing moths. It's a source of discovery, often right around your home, and it's a real-life experience that internet activities can never match. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.